Hi everybody, he's back with Devil Sue, your friendly neighborhood Canadian. And this is part two of the Wednesday to the XO extravaganza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's a video I've been planning to do for months and months that I thought about it. So finally, this is actually supposed to be posted weeks ago, but the whole JS Bro mess group is far apart. So, but after many, many months of planning, and stuff on my mind, I'm finally gonna talk about this. <sighs> so all the, so all the white knight supporters, the stuff I'm about to say is pretty hard. So if you're equally offended by such material, then please click away now. Okay. Or, oh, you know what? Then yeah, go complain and go along with it. Okay. This part, this is double swing. The trolls versus the emotional drama. And I come up with four reasons why they one, she made, she flipped out over some pointless recognition. Now the whole reason she got trolled in the first place is because someone was named the queen of the same weapon as her, being a puppy. Someone named Cosmos and Royal, I think? Yeah. And when she found, when she found out she, someone else named the queen, okay, let me explain. Weapons queens are these titles, or these players, certain weapons you have. They don't get you anything, so it's pretty pointless. But when she figured out that someone else was named the Queen of the Green Earth Puppy, she flipped the hell out. She went on this random hissy fit over nothing. And all and and she, and then suddenly every troll under the fifth sun, including groups like Anonymous, started trolling for epic. I mean that's the start of a Christian epic. And in response, she made this absolutely pathetic meltdown video of no proper response to this thing. And in the words of people in 2004, Aw, oh, somebody bought her! And so, and, yeah, really weapons to the XO, let me ask you a question. Do you think by posting that meltdown video, by saying, leave me alone, it sounded a lot, it sounds a lot like Chris Crocker, that the trolls were just gonna magically go away? <laughs> no, unfortunately, weapons to the XO, it doesn't work like that. You know, I mean, how mentally unstable were you to think something like that was a good idea? It didn't make the trolling stop, it made it ten times worse, and it just made it even more trollable. Seriously, but... Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, but, you know, it's pretty po it was pretty pointless to flip out over some recognition that's not worth anything. And then made that meltdown video and dead in the troll to leave you alone. Well, unfortunately, that's what trolls do. Speaking of trolls, this is the second reason why she deserves to get trolled. She responded to trolls, which is obviously a big no no. That responding to trolls is something everybody knows you should never, ever, ever do on the internet. But she did it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Really right to see so a lot of people on the internet know not to respond to trolls. But unfortunately some people still do not get this. Let me explain. The reason why trolls troll you is to get a reaction out of you. If they are getting your desired reaction, if they've done their job well, they don't have to know who you are or what you do. They don't you don't have to even have to do anything to them. If they see a reason to troll you, they will troll you. It's as simple as that. You just gotta just gotta learn you just gotta learn to accept that. You know, because that's what trolls do. But you wanna know how you win against the trolls? Three simple words. P A R. Block and ignore them. Don't, if you see a troll, don't even respond. Don't even give them the time of day. Just block them, and ignore them, and move on. It's as simple as that. Why you're still not doing this, I don't understand. Because if you respond to them, you're not even giving them more of a reason to troll you. You're just giving them more ammo to do what they do. And you let the trolls troll you to the point where you end up committing suicide? I just can't understand why you would let the troll troll you to the point of almost committing suicide and having a nervous breakdown. 
Why would you do that to yourself? I don't understand why. Please explain to me. I don't know. You know there's a saying on the internet called don't forget the trolls? I suggest you follow it, please. For me, she called the cops on Janet and the other one. This one is even more face palming than the last one. You know why? This is hilarious when I tell you that. The reason she called the cops on Janet Van Nyne is because they live in the same state in Germany. She called the cops on him because she was giving a, she he was giving her constructive criticism and teaching her how to get in that work. And she got all fluttered about it and decided decided to call the cops on him. Wow, she's wow. Honestly, calling the cops and some trivial drama on the internet is a cowardly move, and you know it's a cowardly move. That's why that's why I put her on Twitter about it and she got pretty heated about it. I will show you, I'm gonna, sh when I have my camera with me, I'll show it to you on the corner, but, you know, she said the cops said it's different because what they saw was actually worth investigating, and apparently it had his account shut down. Really? Really? You're gonna have Junior Fan 90's account shut down by the cops because you're buffered? And you can't take, because you were buffered and you couldn't take criticism? Really, you do not call the cops on people. You know what, let me rephrase that. You do not call the cops on people that's not how you solve this freaking problem. You could have just followed Junior Fan 90's advice, took what he said to heart, and actually used it to improve yourself. But you didn't. And you ended up paying the price for it big time. Because to me, if you're not mentally unstable, if you're not mentally unstable, to say just because, Someone's giving you constructive criticism, and because you're getting trolled to kingdom come, that the cops have to instantly snap into action and come and help you out. No, 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 no. Sorry, Western Fiesto. Doesn't work like that, and it never freaking will. Honestly, don't call the cops over some trivial drama on the internet. That's, it's a cowardly move. Nobody should do it. I don't even do that. It's ridiculous. Not only do you waste your fan on time, but you waste the cost time with this stupid fucking stupid drama. I hope you're happy with yourself. <sighs> and, the, and the fourth reason? Because she's a bladder out there of personal life. Now I'm not saying she loves to talk about her personal life on the internet, that's not true. But it pops up from time to time. She tweeted about how her parents are such horrible people how they abuse her and how they say she's the worst mistake ever, how she's gone to fight with her sister, or, you know, all that other stuff. And while I can sympathize with you, and I am sorry, I'm truly, truly sorry that you're going through that right now, really, the rest of the world doesn't care. The world doesn't, you know, you don't care. And again, I'm sorry that you happen to go through this, and it must suck to live in that situation, but really, the rest of the world does not need to know about it. I do not want to know how horrible your parents are on Twitter. Really. It's something that really nobody really gives a rat's ass about. Just because you have a couple of fights doesn't mean you get to come on here and tell everyone else about it. In the future, talk to them, solve the problem, work it out. In the future, please don't be such a blabber off about it. Just keep it to yourself. That stuff just does not belong on the internet. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close out with this. This is sort of like a mini apology. Let's just put it up so. On Twitter last night, I'm sorry if I was being a bit to you. That was not my intent to do so. The only reason I was doing that, I was only warning you that if these videos would be made, you can't. No matter how much you want to forget about it, you can't. You can't escape your problems. You can't escape your past. It'll always be with you, and you can't escape negative criticism. You're known on the internet as some overdramatic buffer drama king that can't take criticism and tries to make the trolls leave her alone with things like bawling her eyes out and saying, Leave me alone! That's what you're known on the internet. I hope you're proud of yourself. You know, despite all this, I don't hate you. I don't. You're a good person. You really are. 
And if you ever see this video, please tweet the part what I'm about to say to this part. Okay. If you really want a boyfriend, I'll be there. Maybe quit your whole fushy crap shit. Get more self confidence. Talk to boys. Because there's a lot of nice guys that would want to date you. Sure, there's a lot of stuck up douchebags out there, but there's a lot of nice guys. Any guy would be lucky enough to tell Shay that crush of hers. And out of respect for Hannah, I'm not going to review it. Maybe. But, you know, just maybe follow my advice and maybe get a boy. I don't know. You know me. Also, this, these kind of couple things might be hard for us. It's just, just keep in mind that you're dying for me. And I'm entitled to it. And it's fair use, and I have everybody to it. Okay. Maybe you should quit with a whole. Maybe you should. I, I, I'm going to suggest you maybe quit with a whole for a flushy connection. Maybe leave the internet for a while because it's pretty obvious you still don't know how to properly respond to it. Still, it's still a thing that you don't know how to properly deal with the control, and it's pretty obvious that you, the internet's not for you. So maybe go outside, read a book, ride a bus, and go on a date, go to the park, you know, do something else other than playing with wet controls, working on a new control, lab or not, like a personal life, with the internet, you know. And two, if you can handle basic internet control that you're fat, you ugly, you're stupid, and you don't know how to properly do the things and short, you really shouldn't be on the internet. You, you gotta be able to take work and stuff like that. I understand that stuff that I have to do all the time, but, but, but there are all, oh, there I, I know the feeling because there are people on the internet, and trolls, who like in general, who never have anything nice to say. But you have to know how to properly do with it, and you gotta be able to take worse insults that you get bad or stupid and the other. I mean, come on. Oh, God. You know, this is interesting. It feels so, so good to talk about this. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't have to say. Oh, yeah. I told you, what heard white man said first? Before you come to try to tell me that I'm simply bashing on him, and, um, and that I'm being a, a bully, that I'm still not dominating in front of me. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hurt my feelings. I'm giving her a little bit called constructive criticism. I'm pointing out flaws and giving her tips on how to improve. That's another thing that bugs me a lot. So for one thing supporters, they will literally coddle and defend her. No matter what sticky situation she manages to get herself into, and they will coddle her and tell her everything is okay instead of telling her what she to do it. And they, most of them comments, they're probably some of the worst grammar and spelling that makes even Matthew D.S. look like a god. And his spelling and grammar was absolutely atrocious. I mean, it's really that please, please, don't, just don't comment, just don't do it. You're not making the case any better for him, and you're only proving the news and other people that she's a captain, so she's a coward that can't confront other people, so she has to say her friends to fight her own battle for her. You know what I'm closing? I don't hate Weston to the so she's a good person, but there's definitely some mistakes I think she can improve on. Because she is a good person, she can do anything if she puts her mind to it and make something out of herself. But with the things that are going on recently, I'm sorry to say this, but she's slowly becoming, she's slowly going on the path to be a taking another book in Florida. And I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up on an article on Psychopathy and Fanatica. She continues to play that to say adulthood or that can say no adult diaper. I really hope it doesn't escalate to that point, but I'm not holding my breath. And I hope it doesn't escalate to that point. So I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap this up. So if you have anything to say to her, a nice comment, encouragement, or if you have something to say about her calling the prosecutor that now you have to tell your news, go on her Twitter. You know what? I'll leave a link in the description. Feel free to check it out. And also this video is so if you want to read this video, by all means, please do it. I'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, for that, I'm signing out. Peace.